All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading. Starting off with your overall energy. Ooh, you're manifesting. You are manifesting something big, something that's going to make you really happy. Uh, so I have imagine here. That's the manifestation. <coughs> Excuse me. Exchanging gifts. Equal give and take. Um, reciprocity. Something very um, playful, fun. Co-create. You're working with the universe here for a new beginning. Flexible with an egg. New beginning. Being very flexible. Not trying to force or push. Kind of going with the flow here. Milk and honey. There's that good luck. Pot of gold at the end. Something sweet coming your way. All right, what is your person's overall energy, Virgo? Virgo's person. What's going on with Virgo's person? Overall energy for Virgo's person. What's going on? Time for a nap. All right, this could be a time out. You guys could be taking a break. Uh, this person could just be exhausted. All right, uh, let's see. What else? Virgo's person's overall energy, yang. There's that fiery, passionate, uh, attractive, chemistry, masculine, fiery, go-getter energy uh, message in a bottle. All right, so if you haven't heard from this person in a little while here in a minute, uh, Virgo, I feel like they're going to be reaching out to you, sending you a message. All right, this attraction here, this passion, desire, chemistry, the flame, it's, it's a little uh, too intense for this person to stay away for too long, I feel like. Um, never ending story. This could have been like an in and out uh, relationship or connection. Wow. Yin and yang. You guys balance each other out and it's blessed. It's blessed. You could be leaving something behind to come towards this person or vice versa for some of you. But look, you guys are the yin and the yang. You have what they lack. They have what you lack. It's like a perfect match here. Ooh, Virgo. Let's see. Let's get into it. I'm seeing a lot of twos and ones. Look up angel number 1111111 or uh, 222. Let's see if there's a message there for you. I feel like... This could be a new beginning that's progressing, or maybe you went on a few dates with this person and then haven't heard from them. You're, you're going to hear from them. This could be a separation too as well. All right, let's get into it. Virgo's person's current situation. What's going on with Virgo's person? Also keep in mind, Virgo, when I say your person's energy, it could be yours. It could be flip-flopped and reversed, so place it where you see fit. Yeah, they want to heal. They want a stable new beginning. Wow, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. Virgo, you have some kind of romantic, stable new beginning. This person wants to heal something with you or maybe, you know, cuddle in bed or something like that. The Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they want stability here. They want long term. They might be realizing what you are. You are their happiness. This Ten of Cups, this is emotional ful fulfillment here. I feel like they're going to come to you with some kind of a romantic gesture, an apology, knight in shining armor, sweep you off your feet. There's a lot of emotion here uh, between the two of you. Yep, there's that equal exchange, exchanging gifts or reciprocity, equal give and take. Mm, here we go. So far, so good. Let's hope it doesn't change throughout the reading here um all right what else what else all right five of swords that could be inner conflict uh should i reach out to my virgo should i not you guys could have had a little bit of a tit for tat argument something like that yep there you are so this person could also just be in their head about you or about the situation and what happened um swords swords are thoughts uh, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, that is you, but this person could also be moving very slow towards you. You could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They're watching you, observing, seeing what you're up to. They are trying to make some kind of a head over heart decision here. And then Five of Cups, sadness, loss, regret, remorse. Something may have went down or maybe this person said something and really hurt your feelings or offended you. 
I feel like they want to come back with an apology. I feel like they want to come back with an apology. They're feeling a loss without you here. All right, what's what are blockages for Virgo and this person? Blockages. Blockages for Virgo and this person. What do we got? What do we got? The death card in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Ending for a new beginning. Transformation. Something to do with commitments. House and home. Leveling up. 1111. Make a wish. Wish is coming true. Twin flame. Soulmate energy. Strength. Leo energy. Confidence. Courage. Eight of swords. Stuck. Stagnant energy. Seven of Wands. Someone could have been being very um, protective of their emotions, their energy, their assets, things like that. There could be something to do with house and home or commitment. I feel like maybe you really wanted commitment and this person wasn't ready to offer that to you. So maybe you pulled your energy back. I feel like there, there was some kind of stuck, stagnant energy and you wanted things maybe to go a little bit farther with this person and it like it wasn't. There's something to do with that. They could have been in a commitment as well, all right? Or, or stuck in something. Stuck in another situation or something along those lines. This could be a work-related uh, connection as well. A workplace romance, something like that. For some of you, not all of you. What else is blocking this? What else is blocking this? Something to do with timing or waiting. You could have been waiting for this person to commit to anything, anything. And I feel like they couldn't offer you something. But now I feel like they're having an epiphany, a wake-up call, an aha moment because you may have pulled your energy back. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be an age difference between the two of you. Let's see here. How does this person truly feel about you, Virgo? How does this person truly feel about you? What we got for Virgo. How do they feel? How do they feel? Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So there's that attraction, passion, fun, adventurous, spontaneous, flirty, go-getter, outgoing. Yeah, Eight of Cups. In reverse. <sighs> Knight of Wands is also my player card, so hear me out for a second. Either this person is very, like, attracted to you, loves that spontaneity, that flirty, energetic, uh, fiery, passionate, sexy energy. They may have thought at some point that either you were playing them or they felt they were playing you or, yeah, they were playing you and, like, you, they didn't think you were going to walk away, and you did. They don't want you to walk away. They don't want to lose you. Wow, see? I have like the double commitment here. There's a decision being made. Someone's following their intuition or a secret came out, a secret came to light and caused some kind of stress, anxiety. Uh, if this person was in like a marriage or a higher level of commitment and didn't tell you, Mm -hmm. it's like they know it caused high stress anxiety sleepless nights there's a decision here is that you you're making a decision to move away from this person cut them off libra energy or scorpionic energy cancer energy pisces cancer sag okay Mm, Virgo. There could have been a secret that came to light that this person was in some kind of a connection or something or going through a divorce or a separation or something like that. Or this person couldn't offer you commitment for some reason, but they don't want to lose you. They know it's causing stress and anxiety here. They know that you're about to make some kind of a decision. What is this decision? What is this decision? What is this two of wands? Ace of uh, wands and 10 of cups, ultimate 
happiness, passion, desire, chemistry. I think they're trying to manifest you back. They're trying to manifest you back. You're also, man, I feel like you're both trying to manifest each other back, which you can do that. If, if you're trying to manifest someone who doesn't want you, it's not going to happen. You're not aligned. But if you're both trying to manifest each other, it does become into an alignment here. And that could be happening. Uh, careful that for some of you, there could be some toxic energy from this person. Just saying. All right, let's see. Well, what are you going to do, Virgo? Potential outcome, justice. Someone could be getting justice. Somebody could have filed for a divorce. Somebody could be separating. Um, I feel like scales are going to be balanced for you. So what I'm saying is if this person is connected to somebody else, I feel like that when they kept saying, I'm not happy, I'm going to leave them, blah, 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 that might actually come to fruition here, okay? I feel like this person does want to protect this connection. Again, let's see. Queen of Cups, Cancerian Energy. Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Things are things are gonna balance out for you here, Virgo. Ooh. All right. Some of you guys, some of you guys are married to this person, but there's something. Maybe you're gonna get married to this person. This could be your long-term partner. There's something about somebody realizing someone's value, worth. I feel like this person is seeing what they've lost or what they might lose. I feel like it's waking them up. They're getting single. Somebody's getting single here. Yep, a wish fulfillment is happening for you. That spark is getting lit, ignited. You could be questioning, can I trust this? Should I trust this? Uh, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want competition. I don't want other people involved. I don't want drama. So you could be like, should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? For most of you, with the energy that's coming through, I feel like you will. I feel like you are going to slowly move here with this. What else? What is this outcome? What is this outcome? Okay, yeah, someone's changing their perspective and gaining some kind of clarity over some kind of stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, replaying events, or this person <laughs> is changing their perspective on how they hurt you, how they stressed you out, how what, what their um, actions cause and effect here. But look... The sun and ten of pentacles, Leo energy. This is happiness. This is long-term commitment, marriage, family dynamic, forever. Long-term, decades. I feel like this person ha had some kind of clarity or change in perspective here. And I feel like your luck is about to change. All right, I feel like you're something happy, something good is about to come your way. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacle for Virgo. Biggest obstacle for Virgo. Projections. Yeah, see, this person's realizing they could have been blaming you, pointing the finger at you. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. Um, you guys could have been projecting um, traumas, things from childhood also. They want to heal. That was the first card out. They want to heal this. Suppression. Yep. Could have been a third party. There was some kind of a burden here, a tower moment. All of that are uh, obstacles. Talking your feelings out. Don't suppress things. Let it out because that's just creating a burden here. All right. What else? What else do we got? Virgo. Summer, time to see the sunny side. Yup. That sun came out. Winter, you feel out in the cold. So I feel like things are going to start warming up for you. If you felt abandoned, left out in the cold, things are going to start uh, warming up here with that sun coming out. 
something's going to change. There's a shift. Look, fresh start, home. All right, so new opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. Home, cozy, warm, secure. You feel at home with each other. Journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey and surrender. Detach, trust, free fall, have faith, all will be well. This person could be leaving something behind here, releasing the past for this fresh start to happen between the two of you. All right, let's see what this person want to say to you. I bury myself in work to forget you. <laughs> Just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, they really like your energy. They really do. And for some of you, you guys, I did see a little bit of toxicity that just don't let this person be an energy vampire. Um, all right. If it's that, because it's a general reading. You and I were too young. There could have been an age difference. This could be someone from your past past when you were just too young. All right, what else, Virgo? Any other messages? We need to let the past go. I want to feel that way again. I still wait for a sign from you. Yeah, so they're waiting for some kind of a, I'm afraid to contact you. <laughs> I left you before you left me. I want you. Yeah, see, this person wants to reach out. They could be waiting for a sign. Remember, message in a bottle is here. They, they want to message you. They want to talk to you. All right, let's see. I'm going to get some letters for you, Virgo. It could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. So place it where you see fit. If they have the same first and last name initial, feel free to duplicate it because I only have one of each. All right. D-L-J-G-T-S-A-F-I-B-Y-E-V. So D L J G. T S B I F A Y E V. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, age, angel numbers, data significance, months, days, weeks, years. Place it where you see fit. All right, we have 999. Look up angel number 999. That could mean you're almost there for the 10. All right, and then 12. So it could be September or December. And we have four and seven. So the fourth, seventh, ninth, or twelfth of any month, April, July, September, or December. All right. All right. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Virgo season, for instance. All right. What do we got? We have Gemini, Capricorn, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, Virgo. That is what I have for you this week. 